Samurai warriors have become legendary for their talents in martial arts, courage on the battlefield, and remarkable weapons and armor. In today's video, we will learn about the main weapons and equipment in the arsenal of the Samurai warriors. In their early history, the Samurai fought primarily as archers on horseback and maintained that role for hundreds of years on the battlefield. Japanese longbows had a distinctive style, unheard of anywhere else in the world. Without knowledge of the bow-making technology used in other countries, the Japanese developed exceptionally long wooden bows, called yumi, that could reach more than 2 meters in height. The yumi was traditionally produced by laminating layers of bamboo, wood, and leather. The yumi's main feature was that it was wielded asymmetrically, making it easy to use this longbow when the samurai was mounted on horseback. It also made it easier to shoot the bow from a kneeling position. Although the emergence of firearms undermined the effectiveness of archers on the battlefield, the samurai tradition of archery is celebrated to this day. The Japanese spears, called yari, were the most effective weapons used in bloody battles of feudal Japan. Yari were used by different classes of warriors, from the lowest-ranking soldiers to the noblest samurai and generals. These spears could be between 4 and 6 meters long, perfect for attacking on horseback or keeping enemies at a distance. Some samurai valued their spears so much that they embellished them with precious metals and pearls. An unusual but quite impressive variation was the Jumoni Yari, cross-shaped spears capable of piercing opponents. The horizontal tips allowed them to block sword blows or be used to push an enemy off his horse. The Yari remained a favorite weapon on the battlefield until the Edo period, when Japan entered a period of relative peace unprecedented for centuries. It was only when the large-scale conflict became redundant that the samurai began to place more emphasis on the use of swords. The katana is a kind of long sword, wielded by both hands, and is the most iconic weapon used by the samurai. The katana is seen not only as a symbol of the samurai warrior, but a symbol of pride for Japan as a whole. The official use of the katana began in the Kamakura period and became more popular as a warfare weapon. Rival blacksmiths vied for the reputation of creating the best sword. Many of these productions became famous for their quality. The Japanese blacksmith's method of repeatedly heating and bending steel made the katana strong enough to be used defensively, but also sharp enough to sever limbs. The katana gained the reputation of being the soul of the samurai, and a symbol of status and wealth. Because of the katana's important social role, these swords were as decorative as they were deadly. The wakizashi was a shorter sword than the katana, the two weapons were often carried simultaneously on the samurai's waist. Only samurais were allowed to carry the pair of swords known as daisho. This symbolized social power and personal honor. The wakizashi had a slightly curved blade, with a hilt and scabbard richly decorated with traditional Japanese patterns. The wakizashi was used as a supporting sword, excellent for confined quarters. According to tradition, the samurai was required to leave his katana with a servant upon entering a house or building. However, he could carry the wakizashi, avoiding being totally unarmed and vulnerable to enemies. The wakizashi also stood near the samurai's bed. For this reason, the wakizashi was often known as the left arm of the samurai. The tanto is a single or double-edged dagger, ranging in length from 6 to 30 inches. The tanto was primarily designed as a weapon of the samurai class in feudal Japan. The tanto, during the Heian period, was mainly used as a close-range combat weapon, but its design evolved over the years to become an ornamental piece. The tanto was mainly carried by samurai. Commoners generally did not use this weapon. Sometimes, some women of the nobility carried a small tanto called the kaiken, used mainly for self-defense. Despite being a short weapon, the tanto was widely used on the battlefields, when warriors would often fight hand-to-hand -hand and try to knock out their opponents. They would then stick the dagger into the gaps in the enemy's armor. 
The kanabo was a heavy cylindrical staff wielded by both hands, studded with iron thorns, and used by samurai in feudal Japan. The kanabo and similar weapons were built from heavy wood or just iron. Kanabo weapons came in all shapes and sizes. The larger ones had to be wielded by two hands and were as tall as a man. The smaller ones were mainly wielded by one hand, whose length was equivalent to a forearm. On the battlefields, the role of the kanabo was equivalent to the maces of medieval Europe, impacting the bodies of enemies even if they wore armor. The kanabo was also a mythical weapon in Japanese folklore, often mentioned in tales of the oni demons who had superhuman strength and made the kanabo their favorite weapon. The naginata is a long-bladed rod weapon widely used throughout Japanese history. It was especially popular among the Sohe, a sect of warrior monks. It was also common among samurai warriors, adding range in battle. Also known as a woman spear, the naginata was the iconic weapon of the Onabugesha, who practiced and often mastered the weapon. Although it resembles a spear, the curved blade of the naginata allowed for sword-like strikes rather than mere thrusts. In the Heian period, the Taira clan faced the Minamoto clan, during this conflict, the naginata became prominent and was considered an extremely effective weapon by the warriors. Cavalry battles became more important at this time, and the naginata proved to be excellent against cavalry. Samurai armor had a distinctive and unmistakable style, allowing great mobility, strength, and practicality. Japanese armor is believed to have derived from Chinese and Korean styles, composed of small iron plates joined with rivets, leather straps, or braided silk, dyed according to the colors of the warrior's clan. Samurai armor emerged in the Heian period, when gunsmiths began to use lacquer and leather to waterproof the metals. Most of the samurai's armor consisted of the breastplate, whose purpose was to shield the torso. Some plates were known as kuzasuri. These were attached to the warrior's belt and hung to protect the legs. The arms were covered with gauntlets called kote. In the 16th century, Portuguese traders bought single-plate breastplates to Japan, like those worn by European knights. This revolutionized Japanese armor, making the original style obsolete. The helmets worn by the samurai are worthy of special mention. Known as the kabuto, it is perhaps the most distinctive and recognizable piece of a samurai's armor. At the beginning of their use, these helmets were usually made of leather. Later, they evolved into iron with leather padding and iron scales to prevent piercing by arrows or swords. A samurai's helmet also usually had a crest on top to show his loyalty and the lord for whom he fought. Kabutos often had an additional mask called a menpo, attached by two hooks on the side of the helmet. These masks were also meant to intimidate enemies. In addition to distinguishing warriors and commanders, the Kapotos were like trophies on the battlefield, proudly displayed when stripped from a defeated samurai. The Tanakashima is a Japanese version of an arquebus or musket. It is believed that the Ashigata Shogun first saw firearms when he encountered Dutch traders hunting ducks in 1543. He bought a pair of muskets from the Portuguese sailors and hired blacksmiths and craftsmen to create large-scale reproductions. Realizing that firearms could be handed out to unskilled recruits with training requiring only a few weeks, the samurai specialized in Tanegashimas. By 1575, Tanegashimas became so common that the famous Oda Nobunaga had 3,000 weapons at his disposal at the Battle of Nagashino. At the beginning of the Edo period, Tokugawa Ieyasu completed Japan's unification process and established strict regulations on weapons manufacturing, securing his position.